Hi, in this quick video, you're gonna learn about an eye disease that three out of four people on the street have never even heard of. And this eye disease is the leading cause of blindness in older adults in America and around the world. Hi, my name is Ryan Ringgold, and I am the co-founder of a company called Ringgold Nutritional Systems. It's our company's mission to help people live better lives through education and nutrition. Now, most people have heard about several different eye diseases or eye dis disorders, things like cataracts, which are clouded uh, lenses, or glaucoma, uh, which is damage to the optic nerve from too much pressure in the eyes, uh, even retinal disorders, or something called pink eye. Uh, these are very common things that a lot of people have heard about. They may know relatives that have these different disorders or eye diseases, but one of the leading causes of blindness in older adults is an eye disease that most people, if you walked up to them on the street and asked them if they had ever heard of it, don't even know what it is. They have never even heard of it. They don't know that uh, they may have family members that have it, that suffer from this. They may not know that they have it themselves. And this is called age-related macular degeneration. Most people that you talk to have never even heard of macular degeneration, but it's the leading cause of blindness in individuals over the age of 55. Uh, approximately 10 million to 15 million Americans uh, have been diagnosed with age-related macular degeneration and more than a million of them have been declared legally blind. So what is age-related macular degeneration? Well, age-related macular degeneration is an eye disease that is a progressive one, meaning that it gets worse with time and there's no cure for the eye disease. It comes in two different forms, a wet form and a dry form. The wet form uh, only consists of about 10% of um, cases diagnosed annually, where the dry form is about 90%. And, it, and the dry form is really the less severe form. Uh, the wet form is caused by new blood vessels that actually form in the retina, uh, thus being called the wet form. The dry form is caused by the breakdown of light sensitive cells in the macula. Now the macula is a tiny uh, little spot at the back of your retina that is responsible for central vision. So when the macula is affected by this eye disease, your central vision is affected. So people with macular degeneration may have trouble reading, they may have difficulty recognizing someone's face, uh, they can have uh, tremendous uh, difficulty with driving, and the things that they enjoy, like maybe golfing or bowling or knitting or uh, playing cards, become more difficult because they can begin to get a blurred spot or a dark spot right in the center of their vision. Now, the only way to treat uh, macular degeneration is if you have the wet form. Uh, right now is to uh, get injections into the eye, but uh, getting a shot right into the eye can actually slow down the formation of new blood vessels, which can help. But if you have dry macular degeneration, most eye care specialists and most uh, ophthalmologists will tell you that there's really no way to stop it or reverse it or cure it and there's no drugs out there that they uh, can prescribe to you. So they recommend that you have a diet rich in certain antioxidants uh, and vitamins and minerals. And in order to help you get those antioxidants and vitamins and minerals, uh, most ophthalmologists and eye care specialists will recommend that you take a daily vitamin supplement. And this daily vitamin supplement should contain things like beta carotene and vitamin C and vitamin E and zinc and copper, lutein, zeaxanthin, and maybe some omega-3 uh, fatty acids or fish oils. Um, these different combinations have been studied in different studies, including one of the largest completed studies to date on age-related eye disease called ARIDS. Uh, there's also an ARIDS-2 that is an ongoing uh, clinical studies right now. Uh, and there's also been some other independent studies, but these different things have been looked at now for several years, and they do show promise to help slow the progression of dry age-related macular degeneration. So what can you do if you're concerned? Number one, go to your ophthalmologist or your eye care specialist and get checked up, get an eye exam, and do that on a regular basis every six months or so if you're over the age of 55. Um, if you have a family history of age-related macular degeneration, if you have a brother or a sister or an aunt or an uncle or a grandmother, then you're at higher risk. So you want to go get uh, examined because early detection is a good thing. And you need to quit smoking if you're a smoker. You need to eat a healthy diet, rich in fruits and vegetables, uh, green leafy vegetables, 
uh, uh, fruits and vegetables that have colors of reds and orange and yellows, those contain things high in zeaxanthin and lutein. Those are very good for your eyes. They help protect your macula against blue light. Um, and then just make sure that you are following a diet, getting some exercise, and taking a daily supplement. And those are the really the things that you can do to help reduce your risk. So hopefully this helped shed some light on macular degeneration. If you liked this video, if you thought it was informational, then please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Like this video on YouTube. Leave us a comment. Tell us if you have macular degeneration or someone that you know has it and how it's affected your life. Ask us any questions that you may have. And if you want more information about a great eye vitamin, then please visit www.preservemacforte.com.